It's a top table slash from Abu Dhabi at night. It's Mumbai against Delhi. It's Bumrah against Rabada. And that's going to be quite a clash there because you've got quality bowling, two teams high on confidence, looking to take that confidence even further and looking to almost be at a stage when you're starting to eye semi-final places and where you want to be rather than if you want to be there. So, it really can't pick a winner in that game, Simon, but you've, they've reached a stage in the tournament where maybe it's not do or die anymore, or at least for that point. No, it's not. And from the, again, go back to Joy's point before about pushing teams towards the bottom. You almost want, if you're in that middle of the pack, you want one team to run away with it as well. And then it just makes that fight a little bit closer in the middle. And and so you don't know what the teams down the bottom in the middle will be hoping for. They just want Mumbai to, to run away um, if they can. And, uh, and you know, just put a space on everyone else. And then the other, the other teams can fight out for that third spot. So people at the bottom of the table, in the middle of the table, and the top are all wanting different things, Joy, aren't they? It's, quite a, it's a weird situation. This is usually the time when we have our previews, gentlemen, when we try and look at the possible changes but given the fact that throughout the tournament we've seen virtually no changes other than for injuries you know had one tactical change where Saurabh Tiwari gave way and Ishan Kishan came in for Mumbai and that worked really well we'll have a look at Mumbai I don't think there's any reason for them to tamper with or touch that uh, team would you agree gentlemen you know what I think Mumbai could change tomorrow I think tomorrow is a tactical game tomorrow is I can tell you some of the coaches and yes, it is it is four and one versus four and two. But they're also saying, you know what, we're going to meet these guys again at the business end of the tournament at some point in time. So expect them to be feeling out each other also in times of understanding. So, you know, they if they're going to turn around and say that, you know, I am going to play against Delhi, do I play another spinner against Delhi? Are they slightly more vulnerable to spin? Prithvi Shaw. You know, Rohit Sharma knows Prithvi Shaw's batting better than anyone else. You know, he's seen him in the nets, he's seen him grow. What are we? How are we going to target him? So a lot of very very tactical operations will come into mind over this match, and I'm I'm going to you know watch with a great deal of interest because I somehow for some reason expect sides to actually experiment tomorrow. Interesting one, an interesting point of view. I'm glad we just didn't get an agreement point of view there from you, Joy. What about Delhi? Let's look at Delhi. Um, again, a team who has not really tinkered around too much from the start of the tournament. But the rest, Simon? Much yeah, look, just a really good side. I mean, I've been impressed with um, Harshal Patel. I think he's a, a genuine all-round cricketer. Now, I know he's had a little bit of time in, at the national um, level, but I think he's a player that could really do a job. He could do, he's brilliant in the field. Um, in subcontinent-type conditions, in, in these um, UAE-type conditions, with the ball slowing up a little bit, his slower balls are absolutely brilliant. He looks like a player who can bat. And, and bat very well in that sort of middle to lower order. So, I've been impressed with him. Uh, obviously, Nokia and Rabada we've talked about a lot. They've got no reason to change any of that. And that top, that top four, you know, they've got the best top four of local players. And, um, you know, and that to me is a really good thing. I don't think you'd leave Shikha Darwin out just yet. He's, look, he hasn't been at his best. Their only, their only option for there is probably to bring a Jinky Rahani into that. Um, spot and maybe open the batting with him. The rest of it just looks after itself. Quality spin uh, in Ashwin and Akshar Patel, both who love to bowl and can bowl in the power plays. So, and Marcus Stoinis is having a whale of a tournament. Uh, they're just a, it's a, it's a good looking side. And that really, Joy, is a surprise package. I think every team would like to look at a surprise package. We've seen Morris coming in today and he could be the one that takes it to the end of the tournament. Marcus Stoinis really wasn't expecting to play, comes into the tournament. That 50 of 21 balls when they were in deep trouble probably set the trend for Delhi for the entire tournament. No, absolutely. And their top order is firing. I agree with, I totally agree with Simon. I don't think they're going to change very much. Ponting likes the look of it. He likes aggressive batsmen up front. And it's very clear, Rahane is their cover. So, if somebody gets injured, he's their nice, solid batsman they can put in at any point in time. But they don't really need to play him at this point in time. Harshal Patel, of course, the biggest advantage he has is he's played many of his years in RCB. And if you're a bowler playing for RCB, obviously, you're never high on confidence. I think these services suit him much more. The slightly larger ground suit him much more. So, I think this is a situation where you're definitely, definitely… 
yeah and uh, see the other thing simon i was thinking about is it's not just harshal patel harshal patel is a brilliant cricketer but i think mm. even if he goes out and ishan sharma comes in tomorrow i think ishan is giving them just as much with the ball and yeah. obviously he has that height to give that bounce which could especially batsmen like rohit sharma and all he could bowl so vishan is fit i would genuinely look at him coming in mm. i just i wonder whether as we get later in the tournament with delhi you know ishan coming in now is, is still a viable option to me as we get later in the tournament and we've already seen these pitches started to slow up a little bit they've got genuine pace in rabada and nokia and maybe ishan in for a couple of games now and then hush up with help back towards the end of the tournament when it's just slowing up because I think he's probably got one of the better slower balls in the tournament. It seems to it really dips. He puts a lot of revs on it. His arm action very really changes. I've been I've been impressed with him. 